<laughs> Wu Black Myth Beth Wu Kong. My goodness gracious. What a game. Game of the year for me. Did you, woo, man, I wanted to say that. <laughs> you, you can say it, say man, it. Go no, say it. resist. <laughs> <laughs> resist what you just said. Resist us. <laughs> I am the resistance. Yo, dude, no, yeah, you said it, man. Game of the year, man. Game of the freaking year. For sure. Um, spoilers here if you haven't played it. Mm-hmm. Up until a certain chapter, we are, um, well, GP, you know, he's the game killer. I think you're up to chapter four now. Um. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> chapter, nope. yeah, 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 chapter four, yeah. yeah. Chapter four, okay, yeah. I'm I'm still in the vastness of <laughs> chapter freaking three. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, what a game. Um, so so let's start, I mean, we, we touched on it last, the last time we recorded on, like, the things that we were loving. Right. As we venture into chapter two, I feel that's where we, we should start now. Mm-hmm. Like, what has taken you with this game? The story. Mm, the story. The story and the gameplay, like, it's... Mm-hmm. The way the story evolves, and and they just don't just do a story, and and like gameplay and cutscenes, they immerse you into stories within each chapter. Mm-hmm. They give you they give you an actual detailed drawing or animatronics or, or, or claymation of these stories Ugh. within the game. It's so damn creative, bro. Yes. That, I've like, never seen anything like that with, like, dealing with the story within the game. Yeah, man. It's like they really they, they really make you dive into this, this legendary epic tale, right? right. Mm-hmm. Where the details and every, you feel like you're, you're listening to a classic Chinese legend. <laughs> like it just being read to you as you play every bit of like the lore in your journal that's being written down and if you i really do suggest take the time to read some of that stuff because it is mind-blowing what 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 they had in that book mm-hmm. like god dang this was in a book yeah jeez mm-hmm. it's like a and, it's, and, it's like a, a anthology of one story but the story can be split off into subplots mm-hmm. and if this like if this was done right i mean i know you told me jet lee had played this character i can't even recall this shit but i do somehow now remember jet lee looking like a monkey the forbidden but, kingdom yeah, yeah yeah that that's what it was based off right that, but if yeah if this could be done properly in a movie format you got some serious gold here because like there's so many different side characters that have a whole different story to what happened to them, right? It's really, it pulls a lot of elements from Elden Ring 2 with their storytelling and the lore that's involved in the game. Mm-hmm. You can just ra- get wrapped up in this big storybook with like so many different things. Everything has a freaking history behind it. Some Chinese mythical thing right. <laughs> is attached to like a freaking gourd. Right. <laughs> like what? And I'm sure overseas got like thousands of incarnations of films Mm-hmm. Dealing with Monkey King way in the sixties and stuff like that. That we don't know about. Right. And for for it to be a hit, it's like I know like it's huge in China, like it should be. Like, damn, this is pretty much your culture on full display here. Mm-hmm. Even the Chinese, like I'm I'm you know heavy anime listeners here we're big on the japanese mm-hmm. now i realize like damn chinese does have a lot more s's involved mm-hmm. right s's and h's yeah. and i'm there like okay i feel chinese now bro let's go <laughs> i could watch me some chinese shit now more more often because it's a very I like I like the language I like the language right. be immersed in that and please play the Chinese with the Chinese language it's best to do it that way don't do it takes away we put up American voice he sounds white what the hell <laughs> no no don't do that ain't no white person ain't no white person dressing up in that kind of attire stop it this is not believable it's so much more accurate if you just leave it with the Chinese speech mm-hmm so good but yes the story is one aspect you said you mentioned the gameplay Mm -hmm. listen man the gameplay you know it takes it takes elements of the god of war right with Mm -hmm. the the dodging and the rolling and attacking but Mm -hmm. there's let's start with the dodging when you are in mid of of these 
huge boss fights or mid boss fights and you do that perfect dodge, perfect dodge i have man. never seen such a more enjoyable dodge <laughs> and, and, and that, s- that sound it makes <laughs> yeah with the little after image i was like yo it looks choreographed like dog i did that like you did that it's oh like i'm so God. fast you see it myself at a freeze frame moment but i ain't over there i'm over here and then mid fight you could be like yo i'm going from thrust stance to pole stance to smash stance like it's so quick okay. with how you could switch up on your styles which one is your favorite stance oh boy <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i just don't know I, I, lo- I love the i love the, the pole stance man I know, man. When I watch your stream, I'm like, man, that boy, he can't get off the pole. <laughs> that man, a stripper monkey. <laughs> Gee, he's a stripper monkey. <laughs> Would you get your ass off that pole? <laughs> we can, like, nobody can reach you when you up there and you charge. Yeah. And you, it's like yeah. that sound when you whack him on top of the head. <laughs> that, that whack sound is like no other, bro. Yes. And that's going to lead me to my next thing. Cause I was talking about the smash stance, man. When he does that, when you get that three, that three focus, yeah, and you spin, 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 slap that Ooh. stick on it. <laughs> they start flying. But then on the flip, when you go to the thrust stance, oh right? man, yeah. Gosh, you're talking, you're talking power pole extend. I know Dragon Ball Z took some of the elements of this of this book into yeah. Goku, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But every time I said power pole extend, I'm just like, that shit hits so hard, but it's super convenient when those boss fights get a little bit out of control. For sure. And you need to keep your distance. I love that thrust stance. Man. Yeah. But I can't hate that pole stance is on the, uh, another level too. Yeah. Because like you said, you could you could charge it up, right? You you extend it, and on top of that, you could drink and heal at the same time, right? When you level right. your stuff up eventually. Yeah. So it's really hard to choose between my favorite stance. I will put. Let me put it like this, because I know there's a down D pad part that's not filled in yet for me. Mm-hmm. Don't say anything. Did it fill in yet for you? Not no? yet. Not yet. Okay. Then there's a big one coming, I guess. There's one more stance. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. But for now, I'll put thrust stance number one, pole stance two, smash stance three. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. Okay. You I, pole go, stance. I go with that with reverse. <laughs> pole stance yeah, one. Pole the, stance one, pole yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> pole. Pole with three bars. <laughs> slide down. <laughs> Drop it, baby. Drop it. I get hot. Drop it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so the gameplay is fluid with the battle and the combat, man. There's so many different ways. And then on top of that, you throw in these rat. There's like an abundance of spells, dog. Man, it's. it's oh. Which one is your. Oh, my God. Are you, I can't make that choice. <laughs> okay. I can't make that choice. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, um, the the cloud step. The cloud step. Oh, that's a favorite. I haven't really dabbled in the rock one yet because the rock me, one is like it's it's iffy because sometimes mm. sometimes you can. It, it depends on timing. You got to time it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying. And then for me, I'm like, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna just dodge, baby. Like what the hell? Right. I'm just gonna dodge. I'm I'm really great at my dodging, so right. I ain't dabble in that. But the uh, what else I was gonna say the spirits too, right? Mm-hmm. There's a multitude oh. of spirits to choose from, like to, yes. to transform into. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, you have another transformation. They give you so much in your repertoire. Yes. Like you know how far you had to go in God of War to re- achieve this amount. Like you, have to, you talk about three quarters of the game. Yes, and, and, they you know, get. You know, I noticed like a lot of like new IPs or like IPs that's not as old as like the Monkey King storyline. Like mm. they took references from the Monkey King originally. Like it's it's basically mm. a revenge tale. God of War took elements from it. Like you mm. said, Dragon Ball Z took elements from it. It's like a lot of stuff took elements from this classic story. If we only read the goddamn book. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who got time to do that? I'm going to play this shit, bro. Let's play it. Yeah. But that's why we're so engulfed in it because it, it's so rich, man. And then I know they, they talked when it first came out, had a bunch of bugs, but it's been running pretty smooth on my end. Like, yeah. 